What's going on folks? Earthmaster here jumping in uh, late Friday night, uh, early Saturday morning for some of you folks out there. It is September 18th, 2020, 1024 p.m. West Coast time here in California and just going to do an update video recap of earthquake activity today, uh, including the mention of that large 6.9 earthquake that struck out there in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge area. Uh, now this earthquake is rather strong for this region. We don't see a whole lot of major quakes out there. Although over the last couple weeks we have been seeing some uh, mid fives to six pointers within the vicinity of this 6.9. And uh, you know, taking back the uh, scale just a little bit there, you can see some of the quakes within the last seven days. This is seven days uh, of uh, 2.5 and above. So definitely uh, seen some activity out there. Uh, kind of sur surprised to see a, a large quake out there, but they do happen and they do happen um, on occasion. Looking back at the history of activity out there, we we'll go over here to this site, pretty cool. Found some information about uh, some quakes that have occurred out there. Uh, it looks like possibly 7.3 has been the largest one. Um, at least according to this inf informative site here, about 59 years ago, uh, they had a uh, 7.3 out there. Looks like a couple other low seven magnitude quakes there about 100 years ago and uh, even six years ago, we've seen a 7.1 out there. So they do happen um, on occasion. They're just not super common as you would see out in the uh, Pacific, for example, you know, Indonesia Air Islands area or the Fiji area or anywhere out here along the Pacific. We just don't see it as often in that region. But um, yeah, nonetheless, they do happen there. That's striking at about 10 kilometers below surface within that Mid-Atlantic Ridge area. As you can see right there on the map, that blue circle. Since then, not a, you know, I haven't seen any aftershock activity out there, which is kind of strange, but uh, it is what it is. In fact, we really haven't seen a major increase in activity following that 6.9. Um, even along the west coast here, it's been relatively quiet for the most part. A little bit of activity prior, earlier in the day, 3.1 off the coast of Oregon there, way out there, past the Gorda Escarpment region. And uh, some more activity down there in Nevada. Looking at the uh, all magnitudes here over the last 24 hours shows pretty much uh, what we've been seeing here on any given day here when we when we do the update videos really no swarming to mention here looks like a little bit of activity uh, up here near Oak View kind of a quite a few twos there two is a magic number it seems like uh, looks like it may be along the fault systems there of uh, what's a specific fault Mission Ridge yeah, Mission Ridge fault system. Kind of a different uh, layer of, of faults here compared to the north-south or northwest to southeast direction of the fault systems out there. So kind of keep an eye on that area. It's not really super swarming yet, uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Four two-pointers, it's uh, kind of something to keep an eye on there. Down here near Salton Sea, relatively quiet folks. Not a whole lot going on down there. Uh, even Ridgecrest just showing some average earthquake activity, Nevada, and um, Idaho still continues to see their quakes up there. Checking the volcanoes up here north, Rainy are showing a little bit of activity there. Of course this was, uh, uh, should be getting close to dropping off the map there. Uh, looks like there was another one just off of the summit there by about 20 miles or so, maybe about 10 miles of Mount Rainier. A um, little bit of activity near St. Helens down there. But all in all, I don't believe we're seeing any uh, major activity to worry about at all in the volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Texas did have a little 3.8 immediately following that 6.9 that was out in the uh, mid-atlantic region earlier today uh, 3.8 pretty good sized quake near minotone texas i believe quite a few folks well a couple people felt it looks like um, 
two people. <laughs> two and, and look at that. Look at the. Uh, yeah, and it's very possible that they may not have felt it. Just uh, throwing in the uh, reports for the heck of it, maybe. But who knows? But like I mentioned, activity really hasn't ramped up um, since that 6.9. If anything, has kind of mellowed out a lot. Uh, Greece did have that uh, 5.9 border 6.0 earlier in the day today well before that 6.9 struck there it's a pretty good sized quake for that region doesn't look like it was over um, super populated areas but other than that folks looks you know relatively Relatively quiet is the word of the day today. Checking out Yellowstone National Park real quick. There's that 6.9 that showed up there on the seismograph stations. This here, when, when you get a big earthquake like that out there in the Atlantic or anywhere on the planet, it does uh, distinctively give off a signature when it comes to the earthquakes out there. Uh, you know, as you can see, the majority of them are showing that 6.9 signature. And that's this quake right here. You can see the P waves and, and whatnot uh, lasting for quite a while following that large quake. Some of these stations are so flattened and squashed when it comes to data that they hardly show up. Um, like the station there in Old Faithful. Just, you can kind of, it, it's really weird. You can kind of see the P waves there showing up a little bit, but, but the main signature of that quake just doesn't uh, appear on this one. And as uh, far as earthquake activity goes, it looks like they had some late last night, early this morning. That's about ready to drop off the seismographs here in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, trimmer detection along the Cascadia subduction zone is dwindling down a little bit. It's still occurring. It looks like about 42 epicenters here in the uh, southern Oregon range and uh, yeah so kind of dying down but still something to keep an eye on out there in that region uh, today in earthquake history real quick folks 5.5 earthquake out there in eastern Turkey back in 1984 uh, looks like wow kind of crazy that a 5.5 would do that type of damage but uh, pretty shallow looks like 75,000 houses there damaged within that uh, earthquake there in Turkey also same date same year looks like All right 1984 1984 6.8 off the coast of uh, Honshu uh, Japan it's kind of like within that vicinity of the large earthquake there in 2011 Maybe just a little south or so. Yeah, a little bit south. I believe the other one was up here a tad bit. Uh, pretty close to Tokyo. All right, folks. Uh, we're going to call it a night. I know I'm a party pooper. Uh, Friday nights just don't mean anything to me anymore. I just don't. You know, party days are long gone, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, stay safe if you are out there partying um, or just having fun. It doesn't matter what you're doing, you know, enjoying the weekend. If you're working all week, definitely entitled to have some fun out there. That's for sure. Just be safe out there. And um, we'll chat you guys a little bit tomorrow during this quiet period. I'm going to just enjoy it, I guess. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what tonight, late tonight and tomorrow brings. So have a good night. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace out.